Here are some more clips from Alive and Kicking, a vibrant documentary directed by Susan Glatzer that pulsates with the infectious energy of swing dance. Glatzer explores the subculture of swing dancing, tracing its rich history and examining its resurgence. The film beautifully captures the diverse community of enthusiasts who find joy and connection on the dance floor. I'm a swing dancer because I fell in love with it. Most importantly, it's the music that keeps me coming back. So I'll always dance. So I work for a 24-hour emergency service construction company. So I have to crawl under houses a lot, go into attics, run into spiders and rats and sewage, poo water, all the fun stuff. It's an interesting job, you know. Every day is a little bit different. I'm on call pretty much all the time. So I dance when I can, and sometimes I'm out of dance and I have to leave. Me and Chanzy, my dance partner, we, we try and get together when we can, but she, she works too. My full name is Chandra Reddig. That's been a disaster my whole life. Steve's a blast to work with. <laughs> We're always laughing. Give a quote. Has she got everything? I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. Your son, fuckhead that he is, left his ID in the dead man's hands. That's all I got. Steve and I are not a couple. And it's kind of nice, because the other aspect never gets in the way. I always wanted to lay because of dancing. They called it Hollywood style. You know, it's just a lot smoother of a dance. Uh, cool, everyone dressed up, vintage. And then I saw the Camp Hollywood tapes, and I was like, oh, that's where I want to be. <laughs> Camp Hollywood is a huge event. How myself and so many other people learned was watching the competition videos. And now to you know be competing in it. Yes, we are nervous. Yeah. Most people don't even realize that swing dance and competitions aren't choreographed. It's all improvised. You can practice with your partner long before a competition, but when you get there you have no idea what music they're going to play. You don't know how fast it's going to be. And you have no idea when you're going to get called out either. If you do something badass in a contest, all of the other Lindy Hoppers in the world are watching that on YouTube. And if they liked that stuff you did, they're going to bring you to their city, and then you're going to get hired for a teaching gig. And that's how Lindy Hop instructors sort of make their living. We're a new partnership, so. Been together yeah. for like half a year. <laughs> of course, we want to represent. We wanna well, Hopefully this will help us to teach. We want to try try to go somewhere with it. The creases in my head are deep and my shadow's grown long. This California fever won't leave me alone. If I could be more specific, I'm on the Southern Pacific. Hey, conductor, I got my ticket in hand. It's time for the promised land. I'm headed out west, out where the living is best. I'm headed out west, out where the living is best. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, thank you. We've never danced together. It's magic and it's like a small miracle it's makes you feel a whole lot better than you are because i know i'm not that good that's not true she made me a lot better steve and i had to do three dances back to back and yeah that sounds so romantic and dramatic but it's sincerely what happens all the time in this dance You'll find someone and you'll, you'll just hit it off with them. And it doesn't mean you're going to marry them. But there is a sincere spark. Steve, pleasure. Absolutely pleasure. Thank you for when I'm crossing in. It's going to be amazing. Lindy Hop is so free. It's so fun. 
you know, and anything goes. And now it's time to bring out our finalists. So welcome now, Stefan and Chandra. We went out of our second time through, and I was like, we just won it. Yeah. You know? He turned to me and said that. Yeah. Like, we just won. No. Uh. One of the judges uh, looked at me <laughs> when we got in the line, and she was just like. <laughs> <laughs> After the at, <laughs> at ILHC, <laughs> we had to come back and just kind of revamp ourselves and get excited again. And then we had to go back to ILHC and wow. Well, definitely last year we felt like, you know, nobody. Small, small fish, big, 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 big pond. And uh, this year we still feel like small fish, but we feel like a really good small fish. Like I watched our dancing this year, I like it. We've gotten better together. Hello? Hey, I just thought I'd let you know you made finals and I knew when we started partnering that this was like my chance to get what I want out of dancing was with Shanti. Our goal is to bring the LA scene up. Definitely. Respected how it used to be. Like it used to be like LA. Like ooh, LA. You're from LA. You must be good. You know, like that's how everyone always thought. You know, if you're from LA, you're a badass. Right up. Quick, 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 stop. I try to motivate people with the kind of motivation that would motivate me. If it was up to me, I would say, Shane, don't tell them they can take a break. There's no breaks. Your break is before the song and at the end of the song. All right? During the song, 
You go all out the whole fucking time. Sometimes you play bad cop, but Sometimes. not too often. We switch it up. Yeah. But mainly I'm a good cop, probably. <laughs> I'm the asshole. I think we saw Steven Chancey for the first time on the flips from competitions. Mm -hmm. And then we saw that they were teaching at the same event as we were in San Diego. <laughs> Meeting the Decavita sisters down in San Diego. That was awesome. They're they're so they're so lovely. I felt that they were up and coming. They had this uh, glow, like with the optimism and energy that some of the established people don't have anymore. <laughs> There was obviously a chemistry <laughs> between Emily and Steven from the very first time they met. We Hi. got a lot of great compliments from friends and heroes and heroes. people that we really respect. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> decided to quit our jobs here pretty soon and just pursue dancing for full time with each other yeah, and mostly. just try to teach weekly classes to stay afloat and then hopefully the more that we compete the more that we get ourselves out there then the more business will come back <laughs>